just kind of giving an update. I did receive a new motherboard and all this for these cards that we proved. It does work after sitting and collecting spider webs for a year and a half in a pole barn. We proved that it does work. Now, I'm not ready to uh, continue on with this build just yet because uh, of the recent Hive OS Welcome problems. back, everybody. We're actually going to uh, try to make a little bit of progress here on the old crypto mining rig. And the first thing we're going to be doing is show you, uh, well, we'll do, I've already opened the box, but we'll, in a sense, do a box opening so you guys can see the new motherboard and other pieces and parts I got. So we're going to get into it. Uh, I appreciate you guys. If you could hit that like and subscribe button down below, uh, helps me out to uh, start getting my channel found by other uh, crypto mining GPU, uh, GPU enthusiasts, or yeah, that type of thing. Okay, so let me set my camera up real quick. And then we will go ahead and grab the stuff we're going to open. This stuff right here. Okay. So I've already opened this, but we're going to go ahead and go through everything I got uh, for the, the crypto mining rig that's right over here. Uh, oh, wow. Memory. Uh, breakout board for an HP power supply. Here's the pretty piece right here. So I bought these off of face, uh, Facebook groups or Facebook marketplace. And so here's the motherboard we got. Now, I've never tried one of these motherboards before, but I've always liked the way they look. This motherboard here is supposed to be able to handle 19 video cards. And I'm curious if I put a four port splitter in the, P the main PCI slot, if I can get <laughs> more than 19. Uh, but 19, and I only have a few video cards. So this is the motherboard I got. Uh, let's see. It is a, a B250 Mining Expert motherboard. Uh, so it's a B250 Mining Expert motherboard oh i had it upside down here you can see it you can see it right here b250 mining expert motherboard so this we're going to see if we can't use this for my crypto mining rig over here with the old cards that we said uh work as well as uh let's see some other goodies I got. Well, one other goodie I've got here. As a package deal, I got myself an RX 5600 video card, power color, uh, Red Dragon Power Color video card. So this is a six gig uh, mining card, and I'm telling you, this thing is spotless. Um, I I looked at this. I don't know if this card was ever used. Um, I was told it was used, but it does not look used at all. So whoever I got this from really took care of these. So I have a Power Color 5600 XT to go with my 5700 and the other two cards I have, the 2060 as well as the 1060 video card. So I got these two items here. And the last but not least is I got a P, uh, HP power supply. So all together, um, I got all of this stuff for 200 and $30. Uh, I believe that's a good price uh, for the motherboard, which comes with the CPU on it and the, the card, the memory I already have. Uh, so that with the power supply, I personally think I did pretty good on this. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth it? 
The main thing I wanted was the video card. Not the video card, the motherboard. So I had a home for this video card and many future ones. Here we go. Opening up the stuff. So there we go. We got this nice, uh, let's see. Looking for a model. DPS 750AB3 HP power supply. <coughs> and again, I'm looking at the fan back here. Don't know if you can see it, but the fan back here, it's, it's spotless. I don't see any dust on the fan at all. And I don't see really any dust at this end of the power supply either. Now I haven't turned these on. Um, I had opened this, but I haven't turned any of this on yet to see if uh, any of this stuff works yet. And I'm assuming this goes on only one way. I've never used these breakout before, breakout boards before. I'm assuming it only goes one way, but I could be wrong. Doesn't feel like it's sitting in there right to me. Uh, no idea. Um, don't wanna just shove everything together and break things. Aha! Shoving it in there to try to break things is the way to go. Uh, that definitely works. So uh, this breakout board I got does have the on off switch. Um, I, I need to learn a little bit more about these six pin uh, on the breakout board, since all video cards take the eight pin, um, and then you have also the riser card to power, can I use one of these to power the riser, to power an eight pin, and another eight pin on a video card? Can I use one spot for all three? Does that make sense? Um, I haven't seen anybody really explain how they're wiring their systems that might explain this. So it's something that I need to look into. Um, uh, I obviously have plenty of spot right now for what I have where I don't really need to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, tear apart this uh, old mining rig. And we're going to put mount this new motherboard down. Once we have this mounted down, I'm going to put all four of these video cards on it and see if we can't get the sucker to boot up into Hive OS. Um, it'll be my first attempt at powering this motherboard on, so hopefully everything goes well. And let me go ahead and move some stuff around here and we'll go through and piece this guy together. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, I was troubleshooting this. Let's see if it still comes up. I had it to turn on here a second ago. Come on, no whammies. Look at the screen over here. Really, it's not going to come up. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we have signs of life. There we go. And you can see it recognizes that we have two video cards in those slots. What is it? Press F1. Okay, so in the BIOS, Basically, uh, I'm almost positive I'm going to have to do a BIOS update and all that. So what was my problem? For some reason, uh, I had to remove a stick of memory. I had to remove one stick. So it's, right now it's running off of 8 gig of memory. Uh, I don't know if the motherboard I got has a bad memory slot. I don't know if I need to do a BIOS update to let it recognize more than that amount of memory. Uh, right now, I do notice that the speed says uh, 2,900 megahertz, and this is only 2,400 megahertz memory. So I probably got some work to do on that. Uh, but yeah, this is what we wanted to see. The board turns on. It recognized that there's two video cards there that are on and working. So we're going to end the video here. Thank you guys. Again, if you like this content, please let me know. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe button, as well as uh, let me know of any suggestions, especially when it comes to powering these video cards up. Uh, if there's a three-way splitter where I can do uh, one splitter off of an 8 pin that will go to two 8 pins for the top and a 6 pin for the riser. I would really like that if I could do that. I'm sure I need a thicker gauge wire. If anybody knows where I might be able to get such a thing or you have a better recommendation for me, please let me know. But until next time, uh, let's see. I'm your host, Info Guides or NFO Guides. That's my name. Hope you guys stick around and let me know what you think. Thanks.